Aaron and I'm the ecologist for the Canal and River Trust in the Yorkshire and North East region and today I'm in the bottom of lot 42 on the Huddersfield Narrow Canal and I'm very excited because you only get to get in the bottom of a lock chamber like this once every 20 years. I'm five metres down now from the top of the towpath and I've just wanted to show you some of the different plants that are growing on the inside of the canal lock walls here. It's not something you get to see every day from the towpath and it's really interesting what actually grows at the bottom of a lock chamber like this. These plants have to cope with quite harsh conditions because the water levels are obviously coming up and down as boats are travelling through and they still manage to survive and cling on to these stone walls. There's specialist plants such as ferns and spleenworts, um, there's angelica at the top there which has probably escaped from a garden, hard rush over here and creeping bents here as well. And over there there's heart tongue fern which is one of my favourites. As you can see, the vegetation is very different on both sides. This is the south facing wall and you can see there's a lot more vegetation growing because they get a lot more light on this side. Whereas on this side, there's not as much. So it's very interesting to see the different habitats that are here. When we carry out lock stoppages like this, the environment team come and check for any protected plants and animals. So for example, we always check if there's any white clawed crayfish present because some of the canals in the UK have this really rare native crayfish. They really are my favorite animal. They're like little tiny lobsters um, and they live and bury into the silt. Unfortunately, we haven't found any in this lock chamber today, but it's always good to keep an eye out for them. There's signal crayfishes in rivers nearby, so we are worried about the white claw crayfish populations because they can catch plague off the signal crayfish and it can really affect our native crayfish. So if the invertebrates are doing really well um, and then the plants are doing well, all the other animals in the food chain like bats and birds that feed off them are also doing well and then we end up with a really good healthy ecosystem. So like this canal is running through the valley and you can just come down and see so much interesting wildlife. I love seeing the heron along here and the kingfisher too. As you can see behind me, there's a great strip of vegetation right by the canal. There's so many different interesting plants that you can see just going for a walk along the towpath. For example, here we've got sweet sisley, um, angelica and willow herb, which is just a few. They obviously don't look as much at this time of year, but they really do provide a lot of colour and different smells as you're walking down the canal. For example, sweet sisley really smells lovely like aniseed. There's also some wild raspberries, so you really should look out for all different plants when you're walking by the canal. There's also loads of different sorts of fish that you can find under the water. There's perch and roach and pike. There's, there's lots of different things for people to come and have a look at.